we say goodbye to Far Harbor in season four of the uncanny adventures of Tara Dickoff and Piper. And also Dogmeat, even though he was broke most of the time. I wanted to create an extra or an outro if you prefer, a quick history of Tara, what happened in season four, and what to expect moving forward. If you're not 100% familiar with Tara, well, she does have a backstory. She was an orphan in Russia, a secret government division in Russia, raised a bunch of orphan girls and trained them to infiltrate the USA. Now, from an early age until around 20 years old, they went through military type training. They also went through like etiquette and social graces so they would be able to fit in. Tara was part of the mail-order bride catalog that was mostly distributed to the men of the United States Armed Forces. She was the first to be picked, because she's fucking hot, and shipped off to John, who we only see in the first two episodes. They lived together for roughly about three years, they shit out a kid, and then the bombs fell. Due to Tara's intense training and hatred of the USA, everything they had was an acting job in regards to the relationship with John. When she was finally released from the cryogenic pod, her training kicked in. This is why she can survive, use a gun, and fight so well, so it wasn't a far stretch that some random housewife all of a sudden can shoot a gun uh, or shoot a sniper from 500 yards away. Now, if you can believe it or not, Tara has 227 episodes spanning four seasons under her belt. With season five, she has a chance to overtake Ginger Snaps, who has only three seasons, but she had 282 episodes. Holy shit, that is a lot of episodes. That's almost 500 episodes I've done between the two. Now, a quick history here. In season one, Tara escapes Vault 111 and explores the new post-apocalyptic commonwealth. This season, Tara went through many transformations and improvements as she traveled about as I was messing around with a lot of different pre-mods and trying to make her look prettier than she started out as. The season ended when the creation kit was launched and when Tara and Doc Mead found Vault 81. In season two, Tara went through a few more transformations as the creation kit ramped up. This included better character creation, new weapons, and we also found the armor that she wore for over 185 episodes, and it's called the Serious Armor. Now, it went through a couple different color combinations, but it's always been the same. The first one was black, the second one is red, and now going into season five, it is going to be, you're just gonna have to watch and find out. Now, she also started to team up with Piper, who she eventually fell in love with. Who knew a mail-order bride was a lesbian all along? The season was abruptly cut short because Jay Zippo bought a $1,600 rig and upgraded the graphics from about, uh, you know, vanilla to 2K and 4K. Season 3 was going to be a mass exploration of the Commonwealth, and I did accomplish that. Piper found one of the best armors ever to grace the series, and she wore it throughout Season 3. Eventually, we had dog meat to tag along with to round out the trio. This season ended when we realized we had pretty much explored everything we can in the Commonwealth. Season 4 was dedicated to Far Harbor. The trio continued, and Miss Dickoff's outfit changed from black to red. Piper's outfit changed from a dark gray to a light gray. Eventually, Piper found some new armor, and I believe it was called the Toxic Raider outfit, where she had a slight areola slip and skin-tight leather pants. And that is the armor that she finished the series with. Upon finding the nucleus, Tara discovered that the Children of Adam was a playable plotline, not just people that attacked them instantly. So she dove into it, and she played the role of the Inquisitor and destroyed Far Harbor in the end. With everything wrapped up, Jay Zippo had to make a choice, make this a series finale, or move on to Season 5 in Nuka World. <laughs> Surprise! Fallout 4 and Tara Dickoff is going into yet another season of debauchery, headshots, piper creeping, and of course, poopy dick jokes. That's my favorite. Launching this week will be Nuka World Season 5, and our tagline says, Welcome to Nuka World, bitch. Heart. So yes, we say goodbye to Piper's sweet toxic raider outfit. We will miss those aerial slips, the skin tight butt-hungry leather pants, and all the piercings. Even the ones only Tara got to see. Look in the description below or in the ending credits for the link to the entire Season 4 series. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Nuka World. Bitch. <laughs>